Shalom Yashroel. It's been a while since I have posted a video and I must say that this uh, video that I'm bringing to you right now it's uh, quite an honor and a privilege to bring it to you because I know this brother personally uh, his name is David and uh, in Hebrew of course we say Dawid and when I first heard this brother's testimony on how he got delivered uh, by the name of Yahushua I was just like wow uh, this definitely needs to be shared with others out there especially the community of Yashrael and um, you know people can debate uh, till they're blue in the face about the set apart name of the father and the son um, people can bring all sorts of scripture and research knowledge to the table but nothing beats uh, a person who has a, uh, their testimony and personal experience of being delivered uh, through the name of Yahushua and that's what this testimony is all about I know it will be a blessing to you as it has been to me um, uh, Dave asked me to post a few of his favorite scriptures and so you'll see that throughout this video and also playing in the background you'll hear some uh, Bob Marley music because uh, David's a big fan of Bob Marley and he requested uh, this specific song so without further delay um, Yashrael, here's the testimony. There's more power in Yahushua's name. Shalom, shalom, Yashrael. This is Brother Dawid here to do a short, hopefully it's short, uh, little clip about my journey and my path to what would end up, uh, thankfully, eventually to the truth and to Yahuwah and becoming a Hebrew Israelite as I call it or a um, messianic Hebrew or part of part of Yashrael um, and it would start off growing up I was uh, involved in the Catholic Church uh, part of my family my family was Irish Catholic and and uh, like a Slovak Catholic and everything like that but I strayed away from that as a young young man and was into Marilyn Manson and you know a bunch of stuff like that and then I started to come out of that phase and got interested into what is called the new age sort of like mysticism and um, meditation and eventually that led to energy work and as I was going through college I was doing a lot of research on alternative medicine, which I still do, and still have a passion for that, uh, as I am a healthcare professional, and just generally in, interested in, in helping people to back to health. But I got involved in the New Age very heavily, uh, not as heavy as some people out there, but what, what my path um, went through was I definitely did a lot of work with my quote-unquote chakras which are described as energy centers I did some I took some healing classes that taught me to use my body energy and the energy of the quote-unquote universe to heal sort of similar to Reiki and uh, I had been involved in, in very um, very various different groups that were aware of this type of occult knowledge and all that okay so there I was doing that and very um, enthusiastic about it very evangelistic about it very excited about it and amazed that I was having supernatural experiences I would I would be able to meditate and I'd be able to feel my chakras vibrating and it uh, warm energy going in and out and I began to basically get a sense for energy what I, what I thought was energy or, or you know, I, I, I right now at this point, I believe that our bodies do have an electromagnetic energy field put there by Yahuwah. But the thing is that I, I later learned as I became a Christian and then eventually I became Hebrew, uh, keeping Torah and calling upon Yahuwah. But I later learned that a lot of what I was doing was very demonic. I 
was opening myself up to an unknown quote unquote universal energy, allowing it to come into me and flow through me to give me these energy experiences and to, to flow through my hands to help me heal others. And um, the healing of others really started when I got my own neck healed by a new age man at a class. He called me up to the front of the class and put his hands on my neck and about three seconds later I felt a almost like a static uh, bolt of electricity or something go through my neck and my neck was healed. I had bad tendonitis and not bad but it, it was there for several months and he released it with his hands and I was amazed by that and then see I, I believe that the, the demonic powers um, they want to perform healing sometimes and, and do certain things as, so that people will get deeper and deeper into the occult which is exactly what happened to me in that situation and I've um, I've read and listened to others who have been very similar to myself, but actually the ones I've listened to, you can find it on YouTube, they were very deep. See, I, I really only began to scratch the, the surface level of uh, this occult knowledge because if I would have continued going, uh, it would be possible that um, I would have been making contact with what they call a spirit guide or different people are channeling light beings or aliens or you know you name it the occult has been involved uh, in many different cultures and the demons use many different forms of deception to deceive people with some of these practices but uh, thankfully I didn't go that deep into it I just did a little bit of chakra meditations and and had a few experiences where I was almost starting to leave my body, stuff like that. No levitation like um, Lady Gaga or anything. I don't know if you heard that story. But, um, yeah, so I was involved in that. Then I came to a point in my life where I was in, in a lot of emotional pain and none of that stuff was really helping, so um, I was just very very lost and very dark and and this was going on for a few weeks it was, it was a traumatic experience I went through and then all of a sudden I w walked out of a room one day and just like an epiphany it hit me that I needed the M Mashiach or Messiah of the Bible at that time I called him Jesus and and you know I was became a Christian and started seeking and searching and figuring out well do I really believe in the Bible and can I really believe this stuff and Turns out that Yah just kept on growing me and uh, and exciting me about His Word and His truth found in, in scriptures. So that was great. But because I opened up so many doors um, to the occult, I as I became a Christian, they the demons sort of turned on me. I think I had demonic attachment on me because I opened these doors. That's why in Yahuwah's word it says not to uh, worship idols and inter interact with anything giving you a demonic feedback or demonic manifestation. I believe a lot of the idols were sometimes maybe people even heard voices coming out of the idols or, or some type of energy uh, experience they would get from worshiping it and so on and so forth and it says in Yah's word do, do not let a witch um, or a sorcery or, or practicer of magic uh, live amongst you if you are Hebrew um, to the extent where they would they w commanded uh, those people to be put to death um, in the Old Testament for the land they were dwelling in because the land was to be pure of this type of demonic um, presence. So that's why Yah commanded um, one to be put to death um, back then. And But to apply it to what happened to me is I believe I opened up these portals, if you call it. It's like a spiral that goes into a different dimension, I believe. And in came the demonic um, upon me, 
and they are allowed to attach to me. Even though I repent it, 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 it didn't happen right away that Yah would cleanse me of it, um, the sins that I, I committed. Um, he cleansed me in his own time, but what I experienced as a result of doing this occult type of magic and all that was I was held down in my sleep called sleep paralysis. There's a great video that explains how it's demonic on YouTube. And I was held down in my sleep, paralyzed several times. And, and, and sooner or later I started to figure out that if I called upon Jesus repeatedly, that um, the demons would leave the room and let me go and let me wake up when this was happening. But I'll never forget, and it's a true testimony to the name of the power or for, to the power of the name Yahushua because the last time they ever visited me was the, the worst attack I had but at that time I knew the Hebrew name and, and was very passionate about some new truth that was coming into it was, a, it was an exciting time as a, as a young starting off as a very young Hebrew learning about the Bible and what I what I should do to try to keep Shabbat and um, different things like that so I, I came into the name Yahushua and Yahuwah through a great friend and I used Yahushua when I was being attacked and as soon as I said it, the power of this name was so much more powerful than the J-Man or Jesus and it, as soon as I said it, it was like a wind that cleared the room and the room was at peace and I was let go. And it shows you how Yahushua is our deliverer, and he has the name of Yahushua through Yahushua, and being in him, and and striving to be a cod with him, one with him, and keeping his father's commands, um, and having him as our high priest for forgiveness of sins. But we have authority over this demonic realm, and it is increasing. The new age. And this type of spiritual deception is increasing and I think will we'll continue to increase and be part of um, the coming great deception. Most definitely many people in California and all throughout the world are channeling um, spirits or aliens as they call on them. And we know that um, these are just the fallen ones um, trying to lead everybody astray so that they can establish their future one world government and uh, one world religion for Hasetan. And certainly I believe some occult magic will be very, very popular and very involved in this one world religion that is to come. So, trying to think if I left anything out for you, Yashrael, uh, from my experience, but I would say some things like it's a counterfeit, this occult knowledge in many ways counterfeits the Ruach or Holy Spirit. It There's many different things like yoga for example. Stretching, doing the yoga poses is great for your body alignment, great for your, your muscle tissue, you know. A meditation, doing deep breathing and trying to relax your body and, and clear your mind, nothing wrong with that. It's when it's when you start inviting an unknown energy or the universal quote-unquote energy or something, some type of idolatry. It's when you involve that and, and start working with quote-unquote energy is, is, when, is when you're putting yourself at risk and, and, and it's when you are you know, allowing the enemy to come in and opening yourself up to this demonic stronghold. So... There's so much more you can understand about this, but we have to understand that our enemy is, is very um, well practiced in all this stuff, and the Illuminati and different secret societies, and going back to ancient Egypt and the sorcerers and magi back in Egypt, and probably um, Nimrod's people, and you know, all that was, they had probably had great powers through demonic. Um, powers because it's like the just like the Ruach becomes one with us when we follow Yahushua and Yahuwah um, you start following that stuff and get into the occult it's like somehow these demon spirits 
um, fallen angels or something, you kind of start to become one with them and, and, and you can, you know, perform magical powers and magical arts. Not something you want to do and something you will most certainly get judged by, by Yah. And Yah will judge you for doing this and it says, in the word he will either judge you in, in this life or uh, during the great white throne judgment to come so fair warning shalom peace yah bless and understanding to everybody i love you blessings hallelujah that yah has shown me the truth and hallelujah that i continue to grow and seek his face and uh keep his commandments to my understanding and and it's all we all can do is to, to let the Ruach guide us and be our teacher. Hallelujah, shalom, peace and blessings to all.